What is a load cell? A load cell, also called a transducer, converts a mechanical force into an electrical signal. In its simplest form, a load cell bends when weight is applied. In a compression-mounted load cell where the load cell is beneath the weighing vessel, like a truck scale, the load cell compresses when a load is applied. The load cell produces an analog output signal proportional to the applied weight or force. The load cell transmits this signal to a controller that will convert the signal into a digital weight measurement. When an application requires multiple load cells, each load cell should measure the same proportion of the total load. Analog Load Cells The most common load cells on the market work on the strain gauge principle. All load cells need to convert their analog values to digital before the load's weight reading can be displayed on an indicator. Some load cells are directly cabled to the digital weight indicator where the translation occurs. Other cells are connected to summing junction boxes on the scale where the box sums analog readings from multiple load cells, converts it to a digital signal and sends that signal to the digital weight indicator. Hydraulic Load Cells Hydraulic load cells contain hydraulic fluid, and during compression, a change in pressure is created and transmitted via tubing to a summing system where the pressure is applied to an analog load cell to determine weight. Analog to Digital Load Cells some analog load cells perform the analog to digital signal conversion within the load cell housing. Making the conversion from an analog signal to a digital signal in the load cell allows the system to compare the output of individual load cells and perform a diagnostic analysis based on that information. Types of Load Cells Double-Ended Shear Beam The double-ended beam is the most widely used vehicle scale load cell configuration in North America. A double-ended shear beam load cell is a compression load cell that offers a large capacity range from 1,000 to 200,000 pounds. The double-ended shear beam is secured at both ends with the load applied to the center of the load cell. As in all shear beam designs, the strain gauges are mounted on a thin web in the center of the cell's machine cabinet. The load cell also has the advantages of being less expensive in high-capacity applications than the canister load cell because it does not require checking, making it virtually a maintenance-free solution. Canister a canister load cell is the oldest load cell type. Also a compression device, it is shaped like a vertical canister and can handle loads from 100 to several hundred thousand pounds. It is typically either hermetically sealed or welded to protect the gauges. This load cell's drawbacks include the fact that it usually requires check rods. Installing check or stay rods to hold the weighing vessel in place on the load cell's top plate during weighing. For these reasons, many canister load cells on the market today are used to replace older canister load cells on existing weighing systems. Truck scale load cells are generally made of stainless steel or steel alloy, but most manufacturers offer a variety of load cell solutions that best fit your application needs. For more information, visit centralcarolinascale.com or give us a call at 919-776-7737.